Joining us now to discuss the latest developments in the Netanyahu probes is Akiva Bigman, an investigative journalist with Israel Hayom. Thanks for joining us. You know, as we just reported, Prime Minister Netanyahu is going to be questioned yet again. Do you think it's hard for him to continue to be Prime Minister with all the drama surrounding these cases? Well, obviously, the dramas are not making it easier, but uh, I think uh, Netanyahu is uh, acting uh, in the right way now. He's uh, holding on to his coalition, he's holding on to the public opinion. Uh, we need to know, the, the viewers need to know that nothing uh, legal happened yet. The police recommendations have no uh, legal meaning. Uh, this new investigation just passed from the tax authority to the police, which is basically a bureaucratic move inside the, 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 inside the law enforcement system, so it doesn't mean anything new uh, uh, legally. So what we're facing is basically a more and maybe more intense uh, uh, rumors and leaks and, and different bits and pieces of information that comes out of the legal system, but nothing uh, real legally happened yet. Right. Well, we are seeing polls, you know, with the public calling for him to step down. There are protests. This is clearly affecting, um, you know, how the public views the prime minister. And the question here is, you know, at a time when Israel is facing so many threats, is it possible for, for Netanyahu to truly be the leader that he needs to be? Well, so far, it's still possible for him to be the leader. Uh, you, you mentioned the polls. The polls, well, he's uh, leading in the polls as far as a, as a political leader. I mean, if the elections would have happened today or yesterday, he would have gotten almost the same amount of seats uh, he has today. So I think the public can differentiate between policy and leadership. Well, that's, that's his uh, ruling coalition. It, it's not him as, as a leader, right? His, well, his coalition I, seems to be stable. That's not the issue here. But as, as a leader, we're talking about an individual who's going through, obviously, a lot of difficulties right now, his family. Yeah, well, being a prime minister is a difficult job, and he's gone through difficulties throughout his career. And I think the notion that a prime minister from the right or from the left, and it doesn't make a difference. Any prime minister shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't be able to topple a prime minister uh, merely by the police investigating cases, because mm -hmm. that's what they said in the beginning. Nothing happened except for investigation. So the fact that investigations are happening is, shouldn't be in a democracy, it shouldn't be a reason for any leader to step down. So I think it's well, I guess, important I guess, that... Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're just going to have to wait and obviously see how these developments play out in the next few months. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.